Dry summer weather can bring animals searching for water. It's a search that can lead them right into southern Arizona backyards. Not in your sides, Craig Smith is live with more on one home's special guest. Well, guy, this close to the Tucson Mountains, human homes overlap with animal homes, but there are some special animals you may never see in a lifetime unless you have some special equipment and the, just, and the right piece of luck. Jerry Rowland has some interesting neighbors. There are just all sorts of things going on, going through the yard. Like javelina, coyotes, deer, and bobcats. He has eight cameras that snap pictures when animals come close. But a few days ago, he caught something he never thought he'd see. You've got so many great wildlife pictures, but this was kind of the jackpot. I, I, was, I was incredulous. About 4 a.m., night vision cameras caught not just one, but two mountain lions. If I'm lucky I get a bobcat, if I'm lucky I get some deer, I couldn't believe a mountain lion was in there. It was phenomenal. He finds the idea of a lion in his yard more cool than chilling. Arizona Game and Fish says lions may attack small or medium pets in a yard, but are not interested in people and rarely come close. A million people a year visit Sabino Canyon Recreation Area. It is prime mountain lion habitat. We get plenty of reports of sightings, but only rarely do we hear of an encounter or an incident where someone has to take some type of action to get the mountain lion to go away. Hart says you're much more likely to have a dangerous brush with a bear that learned your picnics and easy meal. Back in Jerry Rowlett's yard, other wildlife has stayed away since the lions came calling. Which makes me believe they're still here, which I think is great because maybe I'll see them again. Now, a lion did hurt a man and his dog in Prescott. That was about two years ago, and it turned out the lion did have rabies that may well have affected his behavior. By comparison, Arizona had four bear attacks between 2012 and 2013, and in one of those cases, a woman died. Craig, is it unusual for a couple of lions to be there together? It really is. Lions are generally solitary. There are two theories uh, Game and Fish has developed on this. One is that it may be a mother lion, and though that other lion is fairly large, it's probably a yearling, a fairly old cub, but still not ready to leave its mother. The other may be that that's a male and female pair that just recently made it. All right, Craig. Thank you.